Welcome. Today we are going to draw three different tangles. We're going to draw one, two, three, sprinkle, and green dotty. So let's get started. First we're going to start with one, two, three. And this tangle is by me, Linda Barlow. And we're going to start out with a kind of a seed shape. I would say it's about the size of a sunflower seed. They can be smaller, but when we first start out, I like to do them about that size with a aura around it and another aura around it. And this is how it got its name. I started, I see one, two, three. And that's basically the shape. One, then we fill it in. Two, three. And then they just build on each other. And I use this tangle for lots of fillers. I like to put it behind tangles. I should say, so it can be done in a circle. They can just build on each other. And this is one, two, three. I like to make sure that I've got that completely filled in in the center. So I may come back and fill it in. They can even be smaller in size. And you notice I did not put a dot, dots in the corners, or or a border, or strings. I just started. And now I'm going to just turn this a little, and I'm going to start on this side and do a couple. So here we do our little seed shape. And then our two auras around it. So one... Two, three. They could be standalones, but I very seldom make them standalones. They always are in a cluster. And I like to make them in odd number clusters. Actually, I probably don't even count. I just do them. And there we have tangle pattern one, two, three. Now we're going to add um, the tangle from zentangle.com called Springle. And it's kind of a fun spring tangle. This one's not been published. It was done by Zentangle in 2012, in April of 2012, but has never been published. So this is my variation of Springle. Draw up. I kind of like it. At, I think of it as the first part of... Mocha, Luca, and I make that kind of a rounded curve. And then it comes back on itself, so I have a stem. And then I put little caps. One, two, three, maybe four little caps on it. And then I put a little half moon in a circular shape. And I'm going to fill in this background with black. Then I like little dots at the end. That's 
just how I like to do it. So I'm going to draw another one. We're just going to come out, curve around, then come back, come back down. Now we're going to put the little caps on. And these little caps need to be about the same width as this design, as your stem. And we'll put our little round place here and fill in. And what that does is it makes it look like it's a little spring coming out of there. And you can do another one. And I notice that I really like to go um, to the right side because I am right-handed. And so my sprinkles kind of tend to always go that way. But it's good for the brain for you to make your sprinkles go the opposite. So this time I'm going to go this way. That is very good for the brain to go an opposite of what you normally do. So I have a left-hand one and a right-hand one. So, and then I can go back and I can put some more one, two, threes climbing up this stem. That's what I like about one, two, threes is they're very versatile. And I can either make my my spring go coming down this direction or I can make it going up this direction. I think I'm going to put my caps going down this direction. You can kind of determine, even after you've got your little, which way your springer is bent. A few more. One, two, threes in here. Now, I always like to put a little fescue in when I do organic. I, it's just one of my favorites to And now we're going to do um, our final tangle that we're going to teach today today, which is Rain Dottie by Jane Monk, and it starts with little dots making a circle. So I've made a circle of dots, and then I'm going to make a circle of dots going around the outside of that, and that is Rain Dottie. I will put circles on just about every tangle I do. So when I saw Jane Monk's Rain Dotty, I knew it would be one I liked because it's circles.
we should shade because I always feel like that shading really enhances your tangle. So I'm going to take my pencil and between one, two, three, between one and two, I'm going to put a little graphite. So if I miss one, when I'm coloring my pencil, I can come back and pick it up. And here's my shading stump. This one I've used a little bit, so it's got a little bit of, of um, graphite on it. Well, now I can take my pencil and I can put a little shading on the side of my Springer. And I can blend that. And to keep my shading stumps so they last long, I use an emery board. And I can clean that off with just an emery board. And that will clean off that graphite in that paper and make that little um, shading stump last a lot longer. So there we have the tangle with one, two, three, sprinkles, sprinkles, and a uh, rain dotty. And thanks for watching.